Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. I am going to be going to a photo shoot and I am going to do that from scratch. So unlike the last photo shoot which was the furry one, I made the dress before. You're gonna actually see me making the dress this time and then I'm going to do my hair and I don't know I honestly I'm not meant for this makeup game but I'm gonna do a little touch up you know so without further ado let's get into the video here's my inspo I went with this sort of summery dress but I'm gonna swap out the tie straps for a simple spaghetti strap that crosses at the back First up, I chose a similar material that I had already at home. It actually looks kind of purplish, but here it looks navy blue. First thing you're going to do is create your pattern. And since I didn't want darts, like how this one doesn't have darts, I have to create the pattern in such a way that it's only seam allowance over my original measurements. So with that, my pattern was cut out and then I cut out my material after that. Now with all my pieces cut out, let's put them all together. I'm going to show you it step by step, so don't worry about the pieces. First up, we're going to do the skirt part. The first thing you're going to do is hem the slit. This is the two pieces at the front that form that seam. After which you're going to hem it from where you want your slit to start all the way down to the bottom. But let's start with the first part. I'm going to measure it from my waist to the point at which I want the slit to start. Then I'm going to sew from the top all the way down to that mark that I made. With that, you now have the front of your skirt almost completed. The next thing you have to do is fold it in by the seam allowance. Mine was a half inch and then you're going to sew that down. I sewed it straight across the top as well to stop the slit from possibly bursting and going out higher. Now the next thing is to attach the back of the dress. It's a two separate pieces that attached at the sides so you can install the zip at a later point in time but other than that the skirt part is completed and looks exactly how I want it. Next up is the top of the dress. Now the top of the dress has this scrunched sort of bra like design to it so I've cut four pieces because I want to double the top bust part. First thing you're going to do is sew it right down the middle on each piece so you have two separate pieces that are similarly shaped. You then put them right sides together and sew right across the top so that you can turn it inside out. Once you turn it inside out, the front is almost finished. The next thing you're going to have to do is sew a wide stitch in the ditch so that you can gather the material. Now I can't remember which one it is but you either take the top or bottom thread and pull it. When you do that the material begins to gather and scrunch up then you tie it a knot. When that's finished you now have to attach the bust part to the torso part so it has that curved look to it. The first thing you're going to do is sew the front right sides together to the other piece and then sew the back side of the bust part folded down onto the torso part. And with that, it's finished. You now have a top stitched bust part onto the rest of the top. Now the back of the top, I've already attached here, I really shouldn't have. But you put it right sides together to the skirt and sew it down like that. I don't know if you realize, but the bat also has a sort of seamless look because I used an extra piece 
and attached it so I wouldn't have to do an outside hem. So again, you're gonna put the top right sides together to the skirt part and so where I have those pins, so that all forms one big piece. To attach the zip, you're gonna fold over how much seam allowance you left out. I prefer to do two inches to attach the zip. Now, you sew from the bottom of the skirt up until half or even an inch above the metal parts of the zipper. This is so when you are sewing in the zipper, you don't go over the metal part. Now, a zipper isn't hard to put in. I chose to use a regular zipper, which is, to me, harder to put in, but it's up to you. First, you're going to sew one side of the fabric onto the zipper right next to the teeth, and the next side goes right over. Now, you see, the top of the dress did not fit properly, so I tried to sew it in by the sides and see if that would help, but it didn't do much because I found that there was an excess of material right in the middle of my stomach and the bust part did not fit properly either. Not to mention the top was kind of flapping over and I doubt it had been solved by the straps. So what I'm going to do is cut it and turn it into a skirt. So I took the top of the dress and cut it into these strips and made a string out of them and I had to do a lot more use some more scraps from before I made some more strings so it was long enough so I took a safety pin and stuck it through a hole in the side of the skirt to create a strap or a string for decoration with that finish it's now to work on the waistband for the waistband, I actually cut two and a half inches above the original waistline so that I could put some interfacing onto it and stabilize it some more for when I fold it over onto the inside of the skirt. Now I also hand stitched by the zipper so it wouldn't run off because I cut it, cut off the original stopper. To get the material to fold over at the waistband a lot easier. I took off the zipper teeth that went above the waistline so it would be easier to fold over because the zipper teeth add a stiffness to the material which would make it harder. I overlocked the top of that stabilizing piece. Then I tapped it at each side seam and also by the zipper so it wouldn't get stuck in the zipper. With that now, it's just to hem the bottom of the skirt. For that, I did about a one and a half inch seam and this is how it looks right by the, the slit. I use an invisible seam so it wouldn't show. Please guys, wash your stuff before you first wear them because there is a ton of dye in that stuff and it's going on your skin. Now I tried to curl my hair for the photo shoot as you might have seen the curlers early in the video but it didn't work out. Let me show you. Today was supposed to be the day of the photo shoot and it's been raining cats and dogs all day. I don't know if I'm going to curl my hair all over again for the rescheduled photo shoot but just in case I don't feel like it. I'm still gonna uncurl it on camera for you guys to see. So I'm going to be using this oil here, if you can see. So let's begin. I have two cameras filming, that's why. <laughs> okay, so the first one. Um, no, what is this? I was so glad the shoot did not happen today. <laughs> Let's see if I can salvage this because this ain't it. Oh, baby, no.
never again. In the end, I decided to put my hair in a puff with two twists at the side for a little accent, which was for the best. I paired the skirt with this all shoulder white shirt and I tied the ties in a sort of cross at the front. I don't know if you noticed, but I did my eyebrows and put on a little lip gloss. Now for the final look. Overall, I loved the outfit. I was a little disappointed the dress didn't work out, but the photo shoot was still a good success with my photographer Shamar. He did a really good job with the pictures and didn't fail to make me feel comfortable and give me poses because I suck at that. <laughs> that's it for this video guys thanks for watching don't forget to like comment and subscribe bye